So one of the things ni melan uh, during your season. Uh, you see Moses identify kitu moja kama leader. Uh, teamwork. Alijua strength yake is kucheza ma international songs, yeah. you know, ma R&B, ma hip hop. Na akajua strength yangu ni kucheza local, you know, eh, kikuyu. kikuyu music, <laughs> uh, reggae. Yeah. And so now he brought me on board to his team to compliment him. Mm. Uh, so a lesson there that we need to learn is you cannot be everything. Mm. You always achieve more when you work with people. Uh, when you have people around you, uh, don't feel intimidated that wako mingia kwa space yako, now they are going to take over. As a leader, allow people to come to your space. It allows you to grow, it allows you to push yourself higher, and it allows you to become a better person. And so that's how I began radio. Moving on to Family FM, mm-hmm. nika apply kazi. Mm-hmm. Mimi niko AFC sasa, Saturday na cheza radio, uh, pale Metro FM Kubamba. Mm-hmm. Nika apply job family. Na nili apply tu hizi unajisema ngatu, ah, nime apply to God, whatever comes, I applied. Mm-hmm. Sina any qualification, sitienda shule, hizo vitu zote, ex, ex. hizo zote wali kwa mitisha sina. Mm-hmm. But, uh, during my, now as I started DJing, nilianza ku kutumia tools za ma DJ editing tools you know uh, so i could edit audio kidogo nilikuwa na basic understanding ya ku edit audio so nikaitwa interview nikapigia simu ha hello is this Jackson Kamau yeah i'm um, calling you from family media i've seen your application uh, you've been shortlisted to just come for uh, an interview as a uh, PA uh, production yeah. assistant Uh, so come on are you able to come na na nikaenda interview nikaenda interview nikafanywa interview theory so so that we understand god does not place you somewhere he hasn't prepared you for mm. kumuka nimekuwa nafanya radio mm-hmm. so nime allow nime understand audience mm-hmm. mimi ni dj mm-hmm. so nime understand muziki mm-hmm. you know uh, nime gain experience kidogo ya kutumia editing tools imagine yondi liko interview nikapigia oral interview alafu nikaambia now do this end up production create for us a jingle i think that was jingle, the tough jingle. one jingle ni uh, sig tune ni, ni kama now an imaging for the station you know different mm. radio stations unasikizanga kuna ka song flani you're listening to Soxy FM tambariza kabisa hiyo ndio slogan tagline yani anyway but so nikaenda production nikapewa elements different elements nikaambia tengeneza jingle nika make jingle na nikaenda to be very honest i didn't think i'll be called back i knew hapa si itwi Nikia apply si kwa ati serious na hii kazi. Me mm-hmm. I was comfortable. I knew what I was doing, you know, I was in the mission field with Youth for Christ doing mission. After a, like a week, nikapigia simu. Nikaambia I'm calling you from Family Media. I'm pleased to inform you that uh, you've been selected to join us uh, as a production assistant. Uh, I'll kindly ask you to come over the office so that tuonge story ya do. Mm-hmm. Na pia to sign contract. Clarification no nothing, nothing submitted nothing mimi nikaenda mm-hmm. nika sign contract nilikuwa nalipwa 12000 shillings a month 12000 12 gs was some a lot of money yeah, then uh, mm-hmm. but it was still not enough money will never be enough <laughs> by the way money will never be enough that's another lesson that we need to learn mm-hmm. money will never be enough mm-hmm. it needs you to get to a place where you are content with, with what, what you, you have, have. Uh, otherwise money will never be enough mm-hmm. so nikaanza job family mm-hmm. So sasa mimi niko hii back end. Sasa mm. ma DJ wanakam ku DJ mimi ndio na produce. You know, mm. ma presenter akikam ku present mimi ndio na wasaidia, mm. you know. Mm. Mimi sasa unaona nimetoka from the DJ beat in studio. Now I am on the production, production beat. Yeah. And you see now that's another skill that I got. Mm. You see pole pole. So sasa mimi I'm not just a DJ. Mm-hmm. I'm not just a presenter. So mi hata ni producer. Yes, unaona mm. na ika ni intrigue sasa because you realize that you can put different elements to create radio shows yeah. you know yeah. to make radio sound yeah. better yeah. you can do this this to make a presenter sound better you can cut clips and nini making promos you know such things 
uh, the radio. And I worked for family for about three years. So you joined family three years after finishing, three, four years after finishing? Yes, after without finishing without anyone's paper. Uh -huh. Without anyone's paper, mimi sijaenda shule ya mtu, mimi <laughs> nimeenda. <laughs> so sasa vile ndi joined family, ndiyo mm. nika understand, nika anza ku discover my passion. Mm. My passion was actually media. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Vile sasa vitu zime jelin, mpaka sasa nime jielewa. Nime jielewa. And even your God works ingine. <clears throat> and you to see fight God when at times una feel you're going a direction that you didn't think you'd go. Because maybe God is just allowing you to learn things before he takes you to where he wants you to be. Mm. So, my passion, I discovered my passion was actually media. You know, and I was in the right place. So then, diyo nikaanza kufikiria. Now, how about sasa niende shule mm -hmm. kusoma media na communication? What time is it in, uh, uh, in your life? Badu, me, your four years family, me, maliza na when you are still in family? Sasa, mimi mm -hmm. nikachapa job family, mm -hmm. nikachapa job family, first year, second year, third year, nikachoka. I got tired, remember? Mm -hmm. So now, I'm still working in uh, at family media as a producer, but I am still a radio presenter, Metro, metro. tukatoka Metro, uh -huh. tukaenda Hope FM, bado uh -huh. Kubamba, tunafanya uh -huh. Hope FM, uh, tukatoka Kubamba, Hope FM, tukaenda Homeboys, tukaanza kudush offline yetu crossover Homeboys. Radio bado tu na Homeboys Kubamba. Uh -huh. hey. uh -huh. But bado mimi niko family. family. Uh -huh. But, because najua ni conflict of interest, uh -huh. uh, huku sisemi, uh -huh. na naomba tu ya ni manze kasinuke, Please, so God, protect kabisa, kabisa. our Jew. Okay, I think eventually, vile nili resign mm. kwa lini from, from family. From family. So, ilifika time, family, nika, nika choka. And I got tired. Yeah. Uh, I had gotten to a place, now I moved from uh, just a PA. And at that point, now I became the production manager. So, mimi ndiyo mdosi wa production. <laughs> mimi ndiyo, nikatafti hata rafiki yangu kazi ya naito <laughs> David Jogona. Nika mleta family. Family TV. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David ni mleta family. Mm -hmm. ah, Alitoseka kidogo. <laughs> anyway, fa but family, wata ni kuambie. Kitu ingie ni li learn family. Yeah. Ni working under pressure. Yeah. One, we used to do very long shifts. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Either day shift or night shift. Mm -hmm. Ni six to six jioni. So, ili take a toll on me. I used to be very grumpy. Na yo time diyo pia, nilikuwa nakatia waifi yangu sai. Mm -hmm. Tuliko tunakatia na kama tuko family. Mm -hmm. It, I used to be very grumpy. Because I'm tired. Uh, so for me, nikifanya night shift. Ndatoka shift about six. Mm -hmm. Nikienda home, siyezi lala. Mm -hmm. Because misi ya zainku lala kukikuwa na light. Night. Eh. Hey. Light shot okay, I think my season. So I was, I had a deficit of sleep. I was always tired. So that's the main reason you got tired of family, not for any and other reason. And I had, I think I had achieved everything that, that I needed you, to at achieve. At that time, okay. At that time. Wow. So my prayer then was yeah. God manze ni toye hapa. If it is your will, ni toye. And I was comfortable. Yeah. I was the boss, mm. you know. So the you next level was challenge. station okay. manager. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I was I was okay where I, I was. I think about twenty four thousand. You know, twenty four thousand shillings or something. I was good. Uh, so season two nika feel season yangu imeisha family. You resigned. I resigned. Not Is knowing where I'm going. Not at any liko resign and the money. And I want to ask you, is that an advice you will give somebody right now? To resign without really knowing that's a tough question yeah uh, let me just say if god if god wants you to move he'll make you move simple simple and he'll create a way and a place for you to go so by then i'd actually moved from home so in the she na the late Kaberere. Mm -hmm. Wapi? Waroko. Nikwambia about Waroko. Waroko. Tulikuwa tunakuja sasa Waroko. Waroko. So Moza naishi pale juu, sisi tulikuwa tunaishi hao Aba. wengine hapa mina mina cabs. Uh, so nilikuwa nime move from home. So I had rent to pay, I had bills to pay, I had food to buy. But imagine nili resign na sikuwa ikosa. 
vile nili resign dio god akanifungulia but you're still getting salary metro no. not hope fm we were not hizo shows zote tunafanya za bure atuko tunalipwa so on radio you are not okay. tukuko radio uh-huh. unaweza dhaya siri mastar tuna pesa yote hatuna ngo kwanza tukitoka metro tunatoka show saa sita hata uh-huh. hatuna food tulikuwa tunasaidiwa food na mafan mm. by the way yani people watu wamesimama na sisi wacha niseme watu walikuwa natuletea food studio you know uh, uzuri metro alikuwa to create wana to get transport back home uh, tunabebwa na van zao na majesu mm. wanatupeleka mm. home mm-hmm. atulikuwa tuna feel important by the way tunapewa escort na majesu but tulikuwa atakuwa na ndoo but god alikuwa na provide mm. so vile tuli clear so when i moved to from family and i joined now the world let me say the world i didn't know where to go another angle ikafunguka ya kumekdo weddings mhm dj koma okay we are, we are really going fast eh? mm. uh, after resigning i want to know exactly yo so me yeah. i resigned and i went home hapo kwa cubs na mm-hmm. tukaishi kaka home siendi mahali niko tu home hata shule taki kabisa shule ya nani sasa ndalipaje shule hata <laughs> wewe ndalipaje shule so hakuna <laughs> shule mimi yeah. niko tu home hapo cubs zuri alikuwa na job lukenya so alikuwa anaenda alikuwa chef huko mi tulikuwa tu but mm. imagine we never lacked mm. cubs mimi nakumbuka cubs akiniambia hiyo time most jali mimi i'll take care of you most jali man that was a real brother by the way mm. ali evo didn't care me don't they didn't have money to provide then or to you know so you got another opportunity now weddings weddings mm-hmm. kaanza tu kufunguka mm. mtu anataka sound ya wedding dj services tuna provide hapo tunaenda tunachapa na make thau mbili tatu hivyo na survive and we went on and on and on uh, moved from uh, homeboys started the first still with kubamba the first uh, tv live show on uh, on ntv kuitwa crossover mm. uh, and that was another frontier mm-hmm. that god was opening for us so then when we started the show on tv it was a live show mimi nilikuwa dj so by then tulikuwa moz uh, mimi kroba and jugush as a presenter mm-hmm. so mimi nilikuwa comfortable as a dj so huongei sana we, we, kazi yako ni mziki presenter anapiga story yake so tukachapa job tukaendelea tukaendelea then i remember one sunday mm-hmm. na hapa ndio nakwambia when god throws you a challenge usikatae vile nilikuwa nimesema tuseme eh yeah. yeah. one sunday morning presenter uh, producer akaniita kando akaniambia ni aje eh nimeambia ujugusha kama i think by then moz was eh uh, alikuwa maju think so ujugusha kama so when your presenter leo my friend sema tumbo kuharibika ai <laughs> sema jasho jembamba linatiririka uh-huh. nitaambia watu nini, nini. sasa nini. hii ni tv live on radio. tv unajua radio mm. au watu hawakuoni ni sauti so hata unaweza kuumeandika points zako unasoma tv lazima uangalie camera you know i let me tell you that that was a long day but i asked it i did it i'm sure i didn't do it well ah uh, kulikuwa na wase waliongea mbaya mm. about my presentation mm. you know obviously wana ni mm-hmm. compare na njugush mm. you know uh, and for me pia nikataka kukuwa kama njugush unajua kaku fit into these shoes uh, and i did it i i got a challenge i did it wa kusema alisema si kufanya vizuri but it me fun it didn't affect you in any way those voices it after. did it yeah. did but i thank god for good producers who protect you from from sms mm. uh, that nakumbuka actually hiyo siku what they did walikuwa natuandikia feedback kwa pepa mm. so usomi kwa tab mm. kwa pepa mm-hmm. ndio usisome mbaya kumalize roho kumalize sasa so, kama ni kwa tab sisi sahi Ah we read all good and bad. <laughs> Na hata sengine unazisoma tu on air because mm. I think we've gotten a tough skin. Mm. We've gotten used to it. Mm. You realize that if you get 70% positive, 30% negative, you're on you're the okay. right track. Yeah. If you get 30% negative, 70% positive. Uh, 70%, 70% positive. Pa- 70% negative, 
positive kuna kashida mm. but anyway i did it and kutoka hapo waka identify a skill that i have in my personality that is hidden in me dj mm. so nikaanza kupe opportunities za ku present za ku co-host more and more yeah. you know so mm. slowly by slowly hapo sasa ndio transition yangu ya kutoka from dj soxy mm. to soxy now the presenter mm. ilianza mm-hmm. and so two years in which year is this 20 i i can't remember the years bana <laughs> yes, but 20 something okay. you know so tukachapa ntv uh, two years then to come move to citizen. citizen so in this time in ntv two years you are now co-host na tulipu hata shilingi by the way for all the programs time. and we were there every sunday morning na tunafanya diligently for two years but what happened and this is also another lesson the opportunities that you're given for you to learn mm. not for you to make money money una get yeah so don't turn down an opportunity for you to learn because there is no money yeah because during that two years mm. we got uh, experience to do tv remember our background was radio now mm-hmm. we got experience to do tv uh, we created a fan base unaona watu wale identify na sisi na personalities zetu and so we created a fan base it was for free but we were able to grow in those two years and to become better people mm. so don't turn an opportunity don't turn down an opportunity because, because it does no not have money. money let me let me ask because i know there's somebody who is watching and can say i have the equipment i have uh, done djing for two years so it means i go for exposure because in our society right now what to open the for your kazi exposure eh. in real sense yeah. what what can you because what you're telling us mm-hmm. is contradicting that fact of not getting be smart about it mm-hmm. by then to li- let me let me give you a disclaimer yeah sisi most no kiskia story yangu tulijipata mm una get mm. tulijipata mm. that was god's favor mm mm-hmm. It was not intentional. Right now I would challenge people to be intentional in the decisions they make. Mm. Sit down, jita mkutano. Mhm. Jua hapa ndalipo na exposure. Let me give you a practical example. Mhm. IMC mm. kwa maharusi. Mhm. IMC kwa functions. Mhm. Si ndio? Mhm. There are functions that are actually and many have done for free. Kwa nini? Because najua in this one event mm. ndapata zingine tatu. tatu. So at times it's not about the money. At times ni an intentional decision that I'm making not at nimejipata tu ati a a. Nowadays I'm very intentional on the choices that I make, on the decisions that I make. And so for that young person who kona equipment, who kona everything na una biashara Mm. How about fanya event moja ya free. But event ya moja ya free unafanya make sure that you sell yourself. Mm. That is an event that will open for you doors to do many other events. Yeah. Notice that for us in the entertainment scene we get events through word of mouth. Ni mtu ataniona place flani siku ile yako na harusi yake ama kuna function yake eh hey, kuna MC flani hebu nina namba yangu anapewa tunaongea nafanya kwa hii moja nyingine na pata zingine tatu ama nne and so be intentional about the decisions that you make even if they are for free there there need one of the things that you need to do that we did not do then was okay. set goals uh, long term and short term goals yeah short term goals zitakuwa lao you know to project where you want to go and to align yourselves and yeah. not just in terms of even uh, business yeah. aligning yourself means are there relationships are there people that are around you that you need to align yourself be to. with yeah. be close to yeah. because you know in the next three years nataka kukuwa place flani ama nataka kukuwa place so i need to learn from certain people yeah. so you start aligning yourself so, to those people those are things that we didn't know but those are things that i know now mm. so i'll encourage people set goals 
short term, long term. Let the goals uh, allow you or make you think ahead and with your thinking ahead, make decisions that you align to your goals. Yeah. Thank you. So let's go back to now from NTV to... So Citizen. now, hapo ndiyo sasa tukaanza kulipwa. From <laughs> NTV ya bure, uh -huh. sasa, now that's when we went to Citizen. Yeah. Uh, and Citizen started Gospel Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, seven hours of uh, gospel music, kutoka 6 a.m. Mm. to 1. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Masharia uh, and uh, WW Washira Aroro mm. for believing in us, you know, uh, and giving us an opportunity. Young people, uh, we started Rauka, you know, church service and, and Kubamba for the young people. Yeah. And that's where now Naeza Sema, that's when Mini Lianza Kumekdo from doing what I love. Izo miyaka zote ni mekwambia ni mefanya, Izo stations zote ni mefanya, not even a single coin. Apart from family. Apart from family. Yeah. Apa sasa ndiyo TV for me Lianza Kunilipa. And I think I guess the rest is history because now I moved from Citizen, Zaini mm. Kaingia uh, K24, and still doing what I do and what I love doing, which is media and creating change or creating positive change in my society using media as a tool yeah. uh, to achieve that. Okay. That's basically my passion. That's basically my mission and my vision in life. Uh, and that's my long and short journey. Kufika mali ni mefika. So, kuingia campus. Because now I identify and I need what I need to do. So that's when I apply to India Campo. Like India Saint Paul. When you were citizen. Well, I was a citizen. Okay. Now at least I have money to yeah. to pay. Mm -hmm. Then I got married. Or if you want to push, me kuzala ni taka kufanya diploma. Or if you want to push, ni fanya degree. Oh, so you passed in high school? Oko tu danganya? Ani lipita, ni lipita, ni lipita, ni lipita. But because ni likuamze kidogo, ni lifanya maskom na journalism Saint Paul's University. So we learn lingia. Because already nilikuwa kwa space ya media, mm -hmm. nilifanya special exam. So nilikuwa hita some special exam, nilienda, nikafanya exam, nikapita pia exam, so ndiyo nikaanza uh, kusoma. So nikafanya degree, uh, mascom. A four years uh, degree? Jo, eh, four years, mm -hmm. journalism. And uh, right now I'm doing my master's in international relations. Wow, wow. Yes. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, Nona... and Na kusoma tu kujikaza, <laughs> kujikaza bana. Okay. Uh, but I thank God because over the years, nimeka mkulan what I'm passionate about, what I would love to do even when I'm not being paid. Yeah. I love this. Napenda hii, mina eza fanyi hivi hivi, any day, mm. kupiga tu story na wase. Mm. Unajua, this is what I love. This is who I was created to be. And this is what I'm doing every single day without feeling tired, without feeling that I need to be paid, not to say that I'm not being paid. I'm being paid for doing what I do, but I love it. And I would encourage everyone to discover your purpose, yeah, purpose. discover your mission, discover your uh, passion. What are you passionate about? And pursue it. It might not make you money or a lot of money as you start, but let me tell you, when you're in your purpose, you draw to yourself like-minded people mm. who want to come. Unaona? Mina eza kuwa na passion na idea kali sana ya show na atika kufanya. Unaona? But, it attract, passion yangu it attract maybe production was flani waka mkupatina na mimi kufa because maybe sina equipment. Yeah. Unaona? Yeah. So it draws to you people that get producer but hey, hata mini na passion nini 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 when you live in your purpose, things work and things move. And you don't feel tired about the things that you're doing. You enjoy every single day. Thank you. Now, with your story about seeking education way after in your career, uh, there are many people right now who uh, actually do not want to go to school because they can learn something from someone or learn themselves. Is it an advice you can give the young generation? Should they skip school mm. and uh, pursue their passion, or uh, should they start with school? According to what you've, you've said right now, 
what advice would you give ah uh, wacha nianze nikisema kwanza uh, waenga walisema ya kuwa uh, <laughs> ndondondo sio si. sombombo <laughs> yani ya kumaanisha ya kuwa <laughs> usilalie bahati ya mwenzio mlango wazi kweli unaona kweli hiyo ilikuwa life yangu <laughs> usijaribu kama mimi yeah. actually yeah. if i was to go back i think i would do things differently mimi nimewaambia mimi ni fedha ya Mungu mm. na kujipata tu nilijipata una get mm. so it took me years kuanza ku intentionally make decisions life is about balance mm. you need to get a balance and one of the things that you need to balance ni academics education is very important hiyo usidanganywe na mtu education is very important there are places that i would go and people will listen to me now not because i'm so sexy mm. No. Watanifungulia mlango, nitaingia, watanisalimia, but sitapewa meza kwa board. Yeah. I won't get a seat on yeah. that table. Yeah. Because I look like I don't have anything to offer. Mm. At times for you to get a seat on that table mm. would mean that there are certain papers that you need to produce. It does not take away, it does not remove. Yeah added advantage it just added value i'll be a better i'll be better place than wewe unajua tukia apply place flani ama tukienda place flani niko na papers flani wewe hauna mm. tuko na the same experience yeah. tuko na the same passion yeah. tuko nitakuwa bado mbele yako yeah. na ndio nasema life ni about kujipush kukuwa a better person every single day if for you being a better person is going back to school and studying and Good. not even a degree yeah. or a diploma or a masters certificate uh-uh. a short course yeah. you know maybe editing yeah una get ama ama photoshop mm. ku add skill to already what you have it gives you an added advantage remember in this world we are all competing for the same things mm. sadly mm. upende usipende so for you to be a better person you need to work on yourself you need to improve intentionally improve yourself na kumka nimesema chua mali unataka kwenda umeset goals mm unataka in the next couple of years you want to be who uh, a producer yeah a video producer you can't be a video producer kama hauelewi production mm. si ndio tuseme so itamaanisha utakaa chini na uh, na editor utakaa chini na dop mm. uh, director of photography utakaa chini na mtu anafanya lighting una get ndio uzielewe zote, zote so that ukikatini kama director mm. una elements zote. zote and so for you to get to the three years that you want to, to get utajia line kwanza na mtu wa lighting uende mashow za kifanya lighting ula no oh, so hivi ndio unafanya lighting three uh, inaitwa three hiyo um, something three whatever lighting mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, ukae na editor au mna editing hivi post production mnafanyanga hivi ukae chini na DOP mna friend mingi shot aje you know kwa nini unatumia hiyo lens so that in three years ukikaa chini kwa hii meza una elements zote maybe not 100% but una idea zote. ya what to do so that is what you need to do you need to improve yourself every single day so it might not be education in terms of degree diploma but education is very important but there are many short courses that you can do to improve yourself thank you for that now i want to go to how the industry is right now and how people can tap in and get into the industry what advice can you give is it something is i mean is there something you've seen in people who are coming in the industry that is wrong that you want to correct mm. or any advice that you could give out to anybody who wants to join in the industry right now as you finish I think uh in the industry that we are in right now uh some of the mistakes that people do is you want to come in the industry na ushindane na mtu ameshinda hiyo industry manze 10 years mm. let me give you an example when you join a company unaanzia ngona mshahara fulani mm-hmm. si ndio mm-hmm. and the more you serve in that uh, company the more mshahara yako will increase your every single year How is it aka kuingia tu kampuni utake kukuwa kama MD ama GM? Unaona? Lazima uko willing kuanzia mahali chini. Na usifeel vibaya. Yeah. Usifeel ni kama 
kwa nini yule ana do poor than, than mimi yeah. i think you only one of the mistakes watu wengi wana make sana kwa industry you want to come in and you want best. to feel like you're competing with someone who's been there for, for years you yeah. know hey, yeah. you can't you yeah. can't achieve yeah. you may you may be better than yeah. them but don't disrespect don't disrespect Respect. them don't disrespect them there are things that you can learn from that person yeah unaona and again i say it's not about the money at times at times it's the opportunity to learn the opportunity to grow yourself and uh, the opportunity to become a better person that's why what to pewa job applications eh? and you ask for three years experience where will you get the three years experience if you are not willing to intern somewhere yeah. it's someone's for strategy free. exactly kuna mtu yeah mind ku intern because ana join three years yeah. nikitshare experience i'll have it i'll have it you know yeah. but wewe sasa unataka kukuja na ulipwe 300000 because nani ulipwe 300000 because market value ni 300000 yeah. but huyu mtu the journey that they have been through for them to be paid the 300 g's is maybe a journey that wewe ungeko hapo unge give up way before ufike mali ya amefika mm. and so there's no rush gradual growth allow yourself to grow organically you know allow yourself to learn allow yourself to become better and don't be comfortable every single day learn one thing be a better person learn something new that will grow yourself but again i go back to set goals set goals short term goals long term goals what your goals zako zikusaidie ku the direction that you want to move the direction of the things that you want uh, to pursue okay so after giving that advice i want to know before they get into the industry uh, alert them on some of the challenges that are there right now that if they come they are twice as prepared for them and another thing i want to talk about is handling fame we are in an era where mental health is something that has been outspoken mm. because there are many people who are facing it and many people who are, uh, are exposed to fame very early or without uh, being prepared get into depression and such things so i know with the industry uh, comes fame so as one of the challenges how to tackle it how have you tackled it and uh, what are the other challenges that the industry is facing right now hmm okay uh how do you handle fame what is fame you asking me you want to be famous oh. <laughs> you want to be popular uh-huh. me I'd rather be popular uh, than famous because fame is very fame will come and will go the same people who celebrate you today are the same people who fanya kitumbaya watakukashifu you know so don't focus about fame don't allow your head to be bigger than than it is or than it ought to be fame is good it makes you feel good it makes you uh, feel appreciated at times it gives you the zeal or the strength to push on but don't allow it to get to your head mm. reason being are you doing it for the people or to yourself or for yourself when you're doing something for the people you may end up cutting corners to make people happy. Mm. Una get? You may do anything. Ndio you get fame, do you get likes, ndio watu wa kuongelele, you know what we call kiki. Utafanya anything because una allow watu unafanya for the people. But deep down you're not happy. Mm. Unajua au jaji au jaji au jisort we mwenyewe. Wewe una sort watu but hauko fit. Mimi ndasema hivi allow yourself to be you allow yourself to do things because of you because this is what i want to do not because this is what people want me to do because ukienda hiyo ni ni what people want you to do siku ile watachoka na wewe utafanya nini mm. sababu watachoka na wewe siku moja kutakuwa na better person than wewe atakamu Sha, light yako ita shine for two years skill light yako itaanza kudim does it change who you are remember there is a who you are and there is a what you are mm. i'll rather grow the who not the what, what? because the what is what people see. see you know 
but the who is who, you who are inside. I am deep down inside. Yeah. Unona? Yeah. The person who sa zile lights zimezimwa niko peke yangu tu na family yangu na handolaji mabeste wangu mm. na handolaji issues zangu because hapo watu hawanioni hizo picha sieki social media una get that's exactly who i am so i'd rather you focus on the who than the what because the what will always change mm. but the who will remain the same forever and so fame itakuja na itaenda you know but when you've invested in the who that will never change so my challenge to people is grow the who he what acha nana ni sawa tu but the who dio ya maana na ndio hautakuwa depressed siku ile watu wataacha kuklapia siku ile watu wataacha kukupatia applause hautakuwa depressed hautafeel kama amen Sikuizi watu wanifurahi, wanafurahia mtu mwingine. You see, hiyo ni problem ya industry sasa hii. Yeah. Ukiona mtu mwingine ana shine, unataka kumkata miguu. Yeah. Kwa nini? Because una feel ah, kwa nini mwanzeo watu wameacha kuni ku focus na mimi? Yeah. Kwa nini watu wana focus na nani? Mm. Ah, ule ndam maliza. Una get? So, but unasahau the who kama soksi na the who kama whoever, Jax who they do very different, different yeah na zina attract very different people unaona na ndio niliongea about popularity being a pop, being popular and not famous because popular mu equate na it is the impact that you have with people real impact mm. una get real impact that you have with people mm. but again popular can be on the positive or on the negative you can be popular because of the right things or popular because of the wrong things so invest on the who and don't feel threatened because someone else is better than you just be you grow you as you do that god atakuwa elevate na god atak create even bigger platforms than who focus so much na kushindana na mtu fulani that wache kuji grow wache ku grow the who you are who focus sana on the what now what e crowd unego atunaita ma fans leo ni ma fans wako kesho atakuwa ma fans wako the industry has become, has become very competitive so one if you do not improve yourself fast enough vitu zina change very fast so uspo grow uspo move na times utaachwa nyuma so shida ni watu wana feel the industry is favoring watu fulani but ideally is not that it's favoring watu fulani mm. it's just that maybe our watu kidogo wame understand vile industry in vile times in a move so wana jia line na times so one thing challenge kubwa ni vitu zina change very fast so if you are not able to align and to change yourself as fast unaachwa nyuma na utaanza kusema Eh, kuna makatel you know nani anakuwa favored nani ana grow utaanza kusikia vibaya tu eh, watu wako willing to learn unaona watu wanataka vitu zi happen very fast and they can never happen that fast you know today you'll be on top tomorrow utakuwa chini unaona vitu zina change vile vitu zinaenda eza kuji eza ku evolve unaona eza ku change na times uh vile times in a move eh, things also have become very expensive right now in whichever career you want to venture into you have to invest in yourself and investing in yourself means that you need to uh, either purchase you know certain things uh like for example wo mse wa kahawa nime decide ku purchase kahawa <laughs> alinunua mashini <laughs> eh alinunua mashini yeah. so huyo ame purchase mashini ya nguvu sana aweze kutengenezea kahawa yeah. but na many other things maybe za like, uh, mashini ka chai nini nini mm-hmm. so yeye iko industry ya, ya catering yeah. so hivyo maybe ukikuja film kuna vitu zingine una need ku buy uh, ukija dj kuna vitu una need ku buy but pia hiyo ni opportunity mm-hmm. na kwanza hii time ya covid imenifunza kitu moja Mm. networking mm. need to network you'd rather make kidogo money but make 
that kidogo money mara mingi mm. because una network na watu mm. then utake kukua solo ukule mm. peke yako mm. unaona so na ukosa hizo biashara unataka kufanya mm. so it's both a good thing and a bad thing so ukiona 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 ni kama vitu zina change very fast network na watu you know bring together people that you are aligned in terms of vision and pursue projects together si lazima ukule peke yako mm. grow na wase eh yeah i guess i guess that my challenge ni mingi but top of mind is ndio vitu mimi ningefikiria kweli take down with that interview ai na nimeongea sana subscribe finya bell alafu share so that many of your friends can actually get to learn uh, from this story if you have any questions enda pale kwa comment section niulize swali yote i'll be personally coming uh, to answer all your questions uh, rusha pale swali yote and i'll be answering them hapa kwenye joe jex youtube channel soxy says so